Hello everyone. Once again, welcome to PM Networking. Hope you all are doing great. Guys, today in this video, we are going to understand switching troubleshooting. How to troubleshoot switch. So see what is problem in this scenario. Problem over here is PC1 is not able to access server. So in this scenario, you, you can see I have one PC, PC1, which is connected with switch number two. And I have one server, which is connected with switch number four. PC1 IP address is 10.1.1.1 slash 24. And server IP address is 10.1.1.1, uh, 10.1.1.100, right, slash 24. So both are in same subnet and both are in same VLAN. But still, these two devices are not able to communicate with each other. Okay, so how to troubleshoot switching problem? Okay, so guys, whenever you need to troubleshoot this type of problem or you need to troubleshoot switch, right? Th then like on router, we first check routing table, right? First, we check what routing table to troubleshoot routing problem. In the same way, when you are troubleshooting switch, so you should check, you know, MAC address table of switches. Like switch number two will learn MAC address of PC1 on this interface, correct? And same switch, switch number two will learn MAC address of server, maybe on this interface or on this interface right because a spanning tree protocol is by default running over here right so let's say root switch one is my root bridge switch switch one is my root bridge switch in a spanning tree protocol so this port will be dp this port will be also dp this port will be rp rp and this port will be also rp let's say this pitch this port is dp and this port is alternate so now in this scenario switch two will learn mac address of server on e0 slash 0 on this interface right switch Two will learn MAC address of server on 0 slash 0 interface. In the same way, switch number 4 will learn MAC address of server on this interface and MAC address of PC 1 on this interface. Switch 3 will learn MAC address of server on this interface 0 slash 2 and it will learn MAC address of PC 1 on E0 slash 1. So with the help of MAC address table, we can troubleshoot the problem. We can, you know, find first we should check that switches are learning MAC address of devices on correct interface or not. So first of all, we need to identify which switches are which switches is root bridge in my scenario and between PC1 and server, we are using which path like between PC1 and server. We have two paths. One is this one. Another one is this one, right? PC1 can reach to server from upper path also and from lower path also. So we need to find first that which path is in use between PC1 and server. So before trouble, before starting troubleshooting, I will verify the problem. First of all, I will ping server from PC1. So let me take you to PC1. And on PC1, you can run this command. So IP all to check IP address, IP configuration. So IP all. Here you can see IP address is 10.1.1.1 slash 24. Now let me ping the server 10.1.1.100. See, correct. PC1 is not able to ping server. Before troubleshooting, I would like to check IP address of server also, like what is uh, IP address on server is correct or not. So here also, so IP, so IP all. So here you can see IP address is correct, 10.1.1.100. Now in this scenario, we need to find path between PC1 and server, which path is in use. For that, maybe I will access switch number one and I will run command so spanning tree protocol here because with the help of so spanning tree protocol, we can check which switch is my root bridge and you know ports of switches, switch one is which ports are DP, which ports are RP, right? Which ports are in forwarding state, which ports is in blocking state. For that here, we can run so spanning tree protocol command and you can see all interfaces of this switch is DP designated port. That means this switch is root bridge, here also you can see this bridge is the root. So switch one is my root bridge. All ports of switch one is DP. Okay. In the same way on switch number two, on switch number two, I can run so spanning tree command. Enable so spanning tree. So you can see here also E0 slash two. E0 slash two is my DP port. E0 slash zero is my RP port, right? So this port is my RP. This port is my RP. This is DP port, this is DP port, right? And this port is 0 slash 1 is your DP port, right? Again, this port is DP port. On switch number 3, let me check a span tree protocol to identify which port is in blocking state. So on switch number 3, so a spanning tree. So you can see E0 slash 1, E0 slash 0 is root port, first of all. So this port is root port. And this port is 
zero slash one is alternate port. So this port is in blocking state, right? So my loop three topology, my logical topology is this one. Here I have PC one, PC one. The PC one is connected with switch two, and switch two is connected with switch one, and switch one is connected with switch three, and then switch three is connected with switch three is connected with switch number four, and switch four is connected with server. So this is my STP loop free topology logical topology right so in this scenario switch 4 should learn MAC address of server on this interface so I will check MAC address table of these all switches switch 2 switch 1 switch 3 and switch 4 so let's start from switch number 1 okay so let me take you to switch number sorry not switch number 1 on switch number 2 let me close it from switch number two on switch number two let me check mac address table so mac address table so guys here you can see switch two is learning on mac address on zero slash two interface on zero slash two interface it have learned this mac address and i am damn sure this is mac address of pc1 you can verify it as well like here we can see mac address of pc1 is same in last six eight 6806 right 6806 so this 6806 is the mac address of pc1 switch to have learned mac address of pc1 on 0 slash 2 interface this is this is correct right now same switch switch 2 should learn mac address of server on 0 slash 1 interface so let me show you what is the mac address of server here so you can see mac address of server 6807 but in the mac address table of switch 2 we are not able to see any entry for the mac address of server right server mac address is you can see here 6807 6807 there is no any entry for 6807 right that means switch 2 is not able to learn mac address of server right switch 2 have not received any frame from the server right till now now let me take you to switch number one on switch number one okay i have to access switch one again so till now we have seen that switch 2 is not learning MAC address of server. Now on switch number 1 I am going to check so MAC address table. So MAC address table. Now you can see switch 1 is learning MAC address of PC1 6806 is the MAC address of PC1. Switch 1 is learning MAC address of PC1 on Ethernet 0 slash 0. That is correct. Right. Absolutely right. Because this port is DP. Switch 2 will forward frame to switch number 1. In the same way switch 1 should learn MAC address of server on 0 slash 1 interface but you can see on 0 slash 1 interface it have learned this MAC address this is different right server MAC address is this one server MAC address is this one 6807 again you can see in the MAC address table of switch 1 we are not able to see MAC address of server fine so here still we have problem right let me take you to switch number 3 now now let me take you to switch number 3 and here so MAC address table again you can see this switch switch 3 is learning MAC address of PC1 this is MAC address of PC1 on 0 slash 0 interface right that means switch number 3 have learned MAC address of PC1 on this interface correct but again switch 3 is not learning MAC address of server we are not able to see any entry for server MAC address in the MAC address table of switch 3 right so definitely definitely there is some problem between switch 2 and switch 4 or maybe between server and switch 4 right between server and switch 4 so now i am going to access switch 4 so to check switch 4 is learning mac address of server or not so here i can run this command again so mac address table so mac address table of switch 4 is you can see empty there is no any entry let me ping again again from pc1 i am going to generate icmp traffic so if switch 4 will receive the icmp traffic on ethernet 0 slash 0 definitely it will learn mac address of pc1 but if it is not not learning mac address of pc1 that means that means switch 4 is not receiving icmp packet of pc1 right so problem is between switch 3 and switch 4 so we are very clear that there is some problem between switch 3 and switch 4 so now we are going to troubleshoot switch 3 and switch 4 so let me take you to switch number 3 on switch number 3 first thing that i should verify is you know link status link status so here i can run command show interface status status and we can say include connected show me only connected interface so you can see e0 slash 2 is connected with switch number 4 so e0 slash 2 is connected and this link is trunk link right so here everything is correct right on switch number 3 okay 
after that we can check also running configuration of this interface so run interface e0 slash 2 right so you can see running configuration of this interface switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1q and switch port mode trunk right there is basic configuration only trunk configuration after that we should verify this interface status on switch number 4 e0 slash 0 of switch 4 so on switch number 4 i am going to run this command so interface status so interface status and say include connected so you can see e0 slash 0 e0 slash 0 is not there e0 slash 0 is not there e0 slash 0 is not there right here we are not able to see e0 slash 0 if i will remove include connected command then we can see e0 slash 0 also you can see e0 slash 0 but e0 slash 0 is in error disable mode this is this interface is in error disable mode so to recover error disable what you need to do you need to shut the port and then you need to run no shut command right again but first you need to find the problem why this port is you know in error disable otherwise if i will run shutdown command here let me show you interface e0 slash 0 say shutdown and then say no shutdown again right no shutdown again and let me run show interface status command again you can see e0 slash 0 e0 slash 0 is now connected is connected right now this port is not in error disable but you can see the log message is here right again this port is entered in error disable mode and here with the help of log message also we can see why this port is in error disable this port is an in error disable because of ppdu card because of bpdu card feature so maybe by mistake an engineer have enabled bpdu card on e0 slash 0 interface right because of that this port is going in error disable mode bpdu guard feature is for you know access dp port for access dp port port designated port you should enable bpdu guard on all access port and you should enable port fast also on all access port not on the trunk link like on switch number four you should enable bpdu guard feature on this port you should enable port fast on this port right so that whenever this switch will receive bpdu over here it will put that interface in error disable but if you will enable bpdu guard feature over here then what will happen switch three will forward bpdu to switch number four on switch four will receive bpdu on this interface it will put this interface in error disable mode right so same thing is happening over here same problem is happening over here in this scenario switch one is my root base switch root base switch is forwarding bpdu to switch number three and switch three is forwarding bpdu to switch number four and here bpdu guard is enabled so that's why this port is putting in switch is putting this port in error disable mode and we can run this command also here so interface e0 slash 0 to check why my interface is in error disable here also you can see this port is in error disable this port is in error disable interface is down line protocol is also down line protocol is also down now here i think i can run one more command so error disable and then we can say detect so okay this is different thing i think there was one command to check okay wait so interface e0 slash 0 and then we can say error so interface let me run this command so interface status and then error disable so you can see this command will show you exact cause exact reason why this port is in error disable so you can see here this port is status is error disable because of reason is bpdu guard reason is bpdu guard so you should not enable bpdu guard on the link between switches or on the trunk link right this feature is for access port so here on switch number four i am going to disable e0 slash 0 and e0 slash 0 and here we can say do so run interface e0 slash 0 you can see the running configuration i'm going to remove this both command port fast and bpdu guard say no to this span tree port fast and then say no to this command span tree bpdu 
BPDU guard enable and we should enable this feature on which interface on e0 slash one interface right on access port which is connected with server here I can say a spanning tree a span tree BPDU guard BPDU guard enable right and we can say um, a span a span tree a span tree port fast right and now so interface status right now you can see this port is still in error disable so now you can run shutdown command and then no shut command e0 slash 0 say shutdown and then say no shutdown and now again if you will check status now you can see this interface is connected trunk fine and now if again I will ping let me check now ping is working or not now ping should work so uh, still ping is not working still ping is not working but let me check mac address table of switch 4 so mac address table now still you can see switch 4 is switch 4 have uh, not run any mac address right so actually maybe because of span tree protocol this port will take 30 seconds to come in forwarding state so is 0 slash 0 is in forwarding state and is 0 slash 1 is also in forwarding state right this port is dp and here you can see i have come to figure you know uh, port fast feature here so this port is indicating h port right now after 30 seconds i will try to ping from pc1 to server and i think ping should work and now you can see ping is working fine right now ping is working fine so here in this scenario problem was you know port port was in error disable mode because of bpdu guard filter so whenever you are running this feature guys stp you know features like port fast bpdu guard right make sure you are running these features on correct switches and on correct interfaces like bpdu guard feature is for access ports right where end devices is connected not not for the link which is connected with another switch okay so this was the problem guys if you have learned something from this video please hit on like button guys that's all for today we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye